Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons. Uh, this is a Showtime Edition. I'm Landros, and uh, we are back here with, I believe this is episode 15, if I'm not mistaken. I could always be wrong. Anyway, Christopher just got his Christmas skill up to level 5, and you'll notice we're in build by mode, and our former bed is back here. This is going to be for um, Gwendolyn and for Talon. I believe that's how you say his name. I don't know. If I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. Christopher and Aaron, of course, they are just enjoying each other, and then... Um, what I've done is downstairs in this little room out by the garage, I actually converted it into a bedroom for Melina. Uh, all I did is just took out the, the little bookcases um, or shelves that were here, and I, I put two doors so that one would go directly into this bathroom and one would go out. And originally she had a door going out in the backyard. I thought about leaving it, but then I thought, no, I'll just go ahead and put it over on this way. Since she has this door right here so she could go outside if she wanted to. Also, I had to um, kind of do some major changes with this bathroom. Not a whole lot. I just took out a, that, uh, two walls and a door and put in a shower. So she's got a full bathroom down here. And, of course, it still opens up to the hallway and the kitchen area. So anybody can go over here and use it. But that way we could actually have a third bedroom. I know it's awful to have her down here by herself. But, you know, being a teenager, that probably wouldn't be that bad. That's probably something she would enjoy. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and go back into live mode. And let's see what we can go ahead and do for them. Um, Gwendolyn, you guys, you're not married yet. We've got to start planning weddings and all that fun stuff. But you're hungry. What are you going to do? Oh, you don't want to go check stuff out. You want to go down and eat. Let's go ahead and have you eat. Oh, yeah, let's finish up this cake. we got plenty of it. Now, the one thing I was thinking about after the last episode ended, this is all fine that we aged her up early because now she's got 26 days. But if you look at her father, um, he's only like 13 days older than her. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to actually age up both Aaron and Christopher right now just to kind of make it somewhat legitimate. I don't know. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get a couple of birthday cakes, and we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And this way, they're not just all the same age. I didn't even think about that, and if I had, I probably would have done something different. But, you know, hindsight's always 20-20. Uh, so, you know, that's okay. Okay, we got a couple of cakes here, and I hate aging them up early, but that's okay. Buddy, don't eat this cake slice, because you're going to get another one. Go ahead and blow out the candles, Christopher. It is time to see you get a little bit older. All right, everybody will probably eat tons of cake, which is ridiculous. I'm just going to move this over here so that maybe we're going to have cake for days. See how they're stuffed. Well, not completely, so that's okay. They can actually eat. All right, let's now start a fire. Okay, yeah, whatever you're wishing for. Go ahead and do it. Okay, no fire here, so let's see if he gets... It won't be anything, but let's see if he gets a um, midlife crisis. Oh, it's taking a while. You're thinking about it. You're milking this birthday, Christopher. Come on. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, he's a fully mature adult. Okay, didn't hear the music. Apparently, there's no midlife crisis. All right, Aaron, it's your turn. All right, we don't need to grab a slice. Okay. I can't take it away from him. Come on, Christopher. Don't eat the slice. We're not done yet. It's just birthday after birthday here. Yeah, I hate that we had to do this. It was one of those things that I didn't even think about it. And if I had, I don't know. I still wanted her to get with Talon. I didn't want him to get too much older. But... That's the problem when you start messing around with the age ranges. Okay, so there's not going to be a cake inferno. That's good. Alright. Aaron, I don't know who's milking it more. You or Christopher. Alright, okay, he wants to get married. He probably wants to pillow fight. Oh. Alright. Midlife crisis? Hold on, let's 
Let's see. Oh, no, no midlife crisis. That's good. All right, let's go ahead and see who's got to work because I don't know. Let's see, it's Sunday. Uh, yeah, you, you're supposed to work, but I think you get the day. No, you don't get any time off because you didn't get married yet. So you've got to go to work pretty quick. Um, oh, man, you've got to go out and get some jobs. We need some more money. I mean, it's not like we're hurting. we got 45000 Uh Tell you what, let's see what you got. Um, you need to go to the bathroom more than anything. But you can eat that cake. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Gwendolyn, what did you do? Oh, you're in the bathroom. All right. Sorry. Didn't mean to bother you over there. All right. She needs to get a job. Talon needs to get a job. Uh, let's see. What did we learn about Talon? Anything at all? Because I don't quite remember. Oh, yeah. Everything about him was actually pretty good. I was surprised thinking it was something worse. But yeah, there's a reason why I want more money, because I want a different house. Mm. I know, I keep He's moving into a house and then turn around and move again. Mm. But this was always intended to be temporary anyway. All right, Aaron, you're late for your gig, so let's go ahead and get you over there. I knew it was coming. And unfortunately, that's okay. What I'm going to do is go ahead and let um, Christopher, you're going to go ahead. Uh, no, no, no. you got to go out and get some gigs as well. Let's go ahead and have you start here because I know you can make some money at this one and hopefully um, hopefully Aaron's gonna level up I don't even know how far he's gotta go oh wait I'm not looking at the right thing okay he's at come on he's at level 7 he's gonna be a level 8 probably by the end of the night okay of course it's a full moon Aaron I hope you, oh, okay you're not even on your way over there let's see I guess not Get over here, please. Oh, he is over there. Hello. <laughs> Let's get him over here and set the stage. Okay, I'm getting ready to fuss at you, and you're actually doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Man, performing outside in the snow, you are dedicated, that's for sure. Uh -huh. All right, let's get over here. Sorry. Okay, good. He hasn't left yet. <clears throat> okay, tell you what. Talon, you don't have a job, so you can go ahead and start putting away leftovers. You're... Come on, Aaron. Uh, Karen, Christopher, let's go. Oh, man. What do we got now? You guys break whatever you want to break, because we, we're not going to worry too much about it unless it's important. Yeah, if he just gets a couple of gigs, he's making 18000 a gig, and the sad thing is, if we could get Christopher up there, or not, not Christopher, if we get Aaron up there, because he's a singer, he would actually make a lot more money. So... I just got to work on him and get him finished up, and then we'll have plenty of money to get everybody what they need. Um, Gwendolyn's got to get started on her job. Haven't even thought about mm, getting her started. Okay. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know you had to go to the bathroom. Go ahead and audition, and then we'll get you we'll get you taken care of. Oh, yeah, you're going to pee right there on everybody. you got 36 minutes. It's not going to be good. Go ahead and audition got to get him over there to a bathroom and it's not moving so I'm sure it's like really moving but not telling us so is there a bathroom around here I think this is the library isn't it I oh, know that's the um museum all right so there we go we're gonna go across the street hopefully you'll make it before you pee come on <clears throat> we have been here at least once I know but I don't remember where the bathroom is I'm ho oh there it is Let's see is that the guys use it or use it. I can't. Oh, no, this is not the first one. This is the second one. Get over there, buddy. You got, you're you just going to make it. All right. Thank goodness. I thought he was going to pee all over himself. Okay, he is tired, but he got a gig, and he might as well go over here and get one of these. Um, I'm hoping that Aaron's doing his job. I'm just assuming that he is, and if he isn't, well, too bad. Okay. Nope, wrong side. Got to go over here, I think. Come on, this mouse is so hard to work with. All right, yeah, go over here and summon this proprietor. Let's see. Yeah, he's working. He's doing the show. I'm letting him do it on his own. I'm not bothering him. He can just, he can sink or swim. It's okay. Christopher, take your time. Not really. I know he's tired, but if we can just get these lined up, you know, we'll know we'll have some money. All right, audition for this. <clears throat> We've got one more place to go in town and get this all taken care of. Go over there, buddy. Think about sleeping later. Okay, Aaron, you got your raise and a $2,100 uh, bonus. 
Or no, maybe that was the end of your show. Oh, man. Go away, Gary Gee. We're trying to work here. The reviews of your show are in. If this performance were a meat, most people would describe it as tasting like chicken. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I really need to work on getting them better shows. But no, you're not going home. You've got one more. Wait a minute. Is there nobody here? Let me check the back. Probably not. They're probably not here. No, there's somebody here. Come on. Get over here and do this one, then I'll send you home. and You can do whatever you want to do. Which looks like you just want to go to bed. Oh, there's the proprietor. Let me see. Can we get to her here? Um, maybe not. Come on. Alright, there she is. Let's go ahead and audition for this one. And let's see, how bad is Aaron? Oh, Aaron's already in bed. He's smart. <coughs> it's not too late either. That's what's sad. Okay, he's in bed. Oh, she took the wrong bed, and she doesn't know it. Okay, we're going to go ahead, because I'm sure he'll find his way home. And Gwendolyn, get out of the bed. That's not yours. You're supposed to be sleeping up here with your fiancé. So go ahead and sleep up here. Melina, it's Sunday night. Yeah, you probably need to go on to bed, too, because school is tomorrow. What are you doing? Cooking? Good for you. Oh, zombie, go home. Okay, good. All right, go ahead. That's not Gwendolyn's bed. You're going to sleep in yours. Okay. And let's see. Aaron, you are out. Christopher, go... Oh, you're not sleeping in an igloo. You're going to come home. He's got 41 minutes till he passes out. Okay, let's see if he'll make it. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's all the way across town. Yeah, he's he might make it. No, he's at the very end of town, so we'll be lucky if we make it home. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna make it. He's gonna pass out before he gets up the stairs. Go ahead, get upstairs, get in there. Well, maybe not. Maybe he'll make it to the bed. We can only hope. All right, come on. Of course you're gonna pass out, right? What's that? Investigate. Invest. Oh, it's a zombie. Oh my goodness. We're going out here to investigate the mysterious anomaly. And you're probably going to get abducted. <laughs> okay. I haven't had this happen in a while, so here we go. Okay, Christopher. Okay, Christopher, you didn't get the job? Man, that's pretty sad. All right, of course he's exhausted, and now he's gone, and who knows how long. I think it's just a couple of hours, but he'll be back in a little bit. So we may be getting another person in this household because normally they come back pregnant. So pretty funny. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut back out of here for now, and I'll come back when either Christopher gets back or when everybody starts waking up. Be back in just a second. All right, they're bringing uh, Christopher home, so he's just now made it. And let me go ahead and take a look and see, uh-oh, abducted. That's the only move that, that I see so far, so nothing, nothing bad yet. All right, let's see, where is Aaron? Aaron's in bed. Christopher, go ahead and go on upstairs and go to sleep. Wait, what was that? You were going to get attacked by a zombie? I seriously doubt that. They never attack. All right, so we just got to keep watching these uh, moodlets here to see if he gets anything that's going to give us a hint that he might be, uh, that he might be pregnant. So, never know. All right, I'm going to cut out again. I'll be back in a second when they're up and ready to go. Okay, everybody's up and getting ready. They're just finished up breakfast and whatnot. I found, we just found out that it's graduation day, so Gwendolyn's got to go down, down to the city hall, and she has to graduate. So, we're going to go ahead and do this now, and then that way it'll take the entire family. Everybody will head down and... Um, give us something to do this morning and so I'm assuming that of course Melina doesn't have to go to school because of that and then of course that means we have everybody off for the day all right no oh yeah everybody's getting dressed up and ready to go but come on only one out of the door you're holding everybody up and she's the graduate she needs to go first 
All right, so here we go. We're gonna head on down. Um, let's see, Spring Festival is finally in town. Fantastic. All right. Hopefully the snow will start to melt and it'll be gone probably by um, probably by like the afternoon. It really doesn't take long. Once spring rolls in, it's gone quick. Because to me, I don't know, it's pretty from this side, but when you look back the other way, I, just, I don't know, I'm just still kind of finding snow and starlight shores to be a little unusual, but yeah, it's just me. All right, everybody's here. <clears throat> I did have one of my Sims die right then um, while their child was graduating. That was pretty bad. They were an elder, so you know, it wasn't unexpected, but... It wasn't here. I think it was in River Riverview. Okay, guys. All this just to get up here and graduate. Let's see what kind of award she gets. I don't think she was that great of a student, so I don't know. She may not get much. And then while she's here, we got to get her a job. She can go down uh, next door to the library and just go ahead and sign up Garth to be a magician. Mergus? Alright. And of course the snow's still here, but you watch. It'll it'll disappear pretty quick. Okay, somebody didn't dress up. I'm still trying to decide what to do with Talon. I'm looking for him for a job and looking at his wish, he he wants to be a mystic healer. Which means, um, oh wow, we would just have to do the um, alchemist career, which I don't know that I want to do that, but he is a witch, so we could try it. Oh no, he just needs to do this with his witchcraft, so it really doesn't matter what job he has. What I'm probably going to do is I'll let him do that, I'll let him be the witch. And um, we'll work on maybe the DJ skill and the alchemy career as well, because that's kind of easy. You can do it whenever you want to. I just got to make sure that I have that um, elixir, elixir venue here in the town. I'm not sure if I do. All right, you guys are taking way too long to graduate. Speed this up. Okay. It's amazing they all made it. They're all there. All right, here we go. Yes. Gwendolyn has graduated from community high school with highest honor. Her classmates have voted her most likely to have a big family. The future is bright for this young graduate. Fantastic. All right, she's got her diploma. She's ready to go. Girl, you know what happens next. Like in the real world, go get a job. So let's go ahead and visit the library, and let's get you employed. The rest of the family, I'm going to let you guys do whatever you want to do. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I need to get um, Aaron you need to get some jobs and at this point everybody's starting to come out and oh good you can go right over here which is real close uh, well not real close but it's close enough hello sensitive mouse sensitive mouse you're driving me crazy okay um i think it's back on this side now anyway i want you to come over here and i want you to audition for this place and see if you can get it all right i'm sure gwendolyn's already over there but i hate having to leave her i mean leave aaron Anyway, go over here and let's go ahead and you want a profession. All right, Aaron, we're going to go back with you. Pretty good timing. You're almost there. Okay. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I do have him selected. Uh, no, she doesn't want to be that. She wants to be a magician. Here we go. Accept that career and... Suit the Illusionist. Um, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn the Great. How original is that? We can always change it when we want to. Alright, um, audition for this job. Now then, uh, she's just going to be a magician. Her husband actually can use real magic. So they're a pretty good combination, I guess. Alright, come on, get this job. You can do it. Please get this job. We need more money. We don't need it, but we... No, of course not. You know what? That's fine. We'll go find something else. While you're here, let's just go ahead and just... I'm going to just line you up for all these um, other ones. Oh, you've already got a gig there. 
Let's see, do you have one here? Yes, you do. Do you have one at Rodeo? Nope. But you're going to. Go ahead and audition there. Alright, looks like he's leveled up to level 1 of magic, and that's a good thing. Wait, I didn't want to go down on that. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Okay. Where are you at, buddy? Okay, go ahead and audition. I ought to just let Christopher do the same thing. He ought to just line them up. Um, he's got jobs there. Well, he's got, let's see, let's have him audition here and here and here. Let's just get them going. We don't have to be with them every time they perform, but this way we're just going to have plenty of things for them to do. And I don't really care about going to the park. That's fine. All right, Talon, tell you what, <laughs> you're going to just sit here and do absolutely nothing. No, that's not going to be the case. You can go ahead and go over with... Well, actually, you can't go with anybody. I'm going to take you over to Mix for a minute. Let's see, who can you go with? Go ahead and take... Well, Christopher, you should already be out of the way. Just go yourself. Just go by yourself. Christopher, I had you lined up, so you got to get out there and go. Gwendolyn, you need to go over to Mix as well. And Melina, you don't have anything else to do. You could go to... You can come over to Mix, too. No, that's the coffee house. Go over here. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to get him started on the DJ career. And I think there's a DJ booth here. Alright, looks like he didn't get that job either. Fantastic. I have never had the career, the singer career, take this long to level up. Usually it's done very, very fast. But for some reason it's just not working. Okay. Upstairs, is there a DJ booth? No, it must have been at the porta party. That's where I'm meant to go. Alright, so that's fine. It's just next door. Let's go here. If one doesn't work, you always have another. Okay, and then we'll come back over here. Oh yeah, and this is the place I wanted to be anyway. So I want you to go over here, and you're going to go ahead and play dubstep. And Gwendolyn, you can come over here as well. Go here with your sister, or your soon-to-be sister. That way it saves us the trouble of actually clicking on you. Alright, Aaron keeps getting jobs. Christopher... Oh no, Aaron, that's good. Christopher, you always get the jobs. Oh, Christopher, you didn't get that one? Crazy. Alright, this place is so dead that even ghosts and mummies won't hang out here. Alright, that's okay. We're coming over here just to level up a skill. We could buy this and keep it at our house, but I figure why not? We're over here. Let's see, Melina. You guys should be in here pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and send you here. You're going to go ahead and come on up here. Let's see, can you watch him? Oh, you can request music. Request funk. Okay. Melina, where are you at? i got to get you out of the graduation room. Actually, you guys all need to change. Alright, you guys can come on over here. And you can come play pool. You can come play pool. Probably won't do that. Alright, go ahead and change clothes. Let's get into... Let's go into career one see what you got. You go ahead and change, get into your everyday. Alright, there we go. She's got her career. We're going to go ahead and do some tricks here. Let's go ahead and do Wand into Flowers. Let's do Instant Cards and... Well, I don't want to perform for tips here. If there's nobody here, what's the point? Okay, let's see. Come on. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. Okay, he's still... Okay, you're going to come over here and you're going to join the game. That's what you're going to do. Hopefully it'll still be going on. Alright, let's see. Alright, who just... Who just leveled up? I don't know. Okay. Well, he's working on it. You go, Talon. Alright, you're going to do... You're still doing dubstep? Why don't you change it over then to... Uh, because that's what they asked for. Right, Christopher's got a job. So Christopher, you can't come over here. Let's see, let's find out where your job is. Um, okay, where is your job? Is it the one way up here? Of course it's not. I am looking at Christopher, and it did say Christopher has a job in two hours, and I did not see it. Okay, well... I can go and look at his gigs and see what he's going. Uh, this is Monday. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be over here. 
That's really strange. Perform the show. Yeah, go over there and do that. I didn't get any kind of alert, but now we know where he's supposed to be. All right, Talon, let's see what you got. Oh, come on, buddy. You're supposed to be working. Play some random genre. Melina, you're going to go over here and you're going to get on this thing. Let's go on low first. Make sure you don't throw up. Okay, and you've made a little friend with Edward Gooder. That's good. Um, Christopher, you audition, then you got to go to work. And what did Gwendolyn do? Gwendolyn, you're out in the parking lot. Well, if you're out here, are you flirting with somebody? Crazy girl. Go ahead and do that. And we're going to watch her. Go ahead. Alright, so we got some gigs coming up. We're going to make some money. This will be a busy week for us all. Alright, where are you going, Aaron? No, that's Talon. Talon, get back over here. Go ahead and play. You need to just keep playing until I tell you to stop. Let's just do whatever. I don't think it at all. I think it just takes one. But I'm just going to tell him to keep doing this. Let's see if he does. Melina, you're upside down. Alright, so she didn't do too bad there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do medium speed this time. And Christopher. Oh, unexpected weight gain. Yeah, we're going to have an alien baby. Okay, that's what I figured. Alright. Yeah, we're going to use the venue. I know I should be setting up their own stage, but... Do I see a weight gain on him? Well, you wouldn't tell from that. No. Maybe a little bit. Not in your not in your belly, but... Have I been making you work out or something? Because you do look like you've uh, picked up a little bit. Alright, that's fine. You just keep on doing what you got to do. Make the money. We're going to go make sure the talent keeps doing what he's supposed to be doing. Come on. Let's get in on there. Aaron is about to... Oh, yeah. Aaron, you got to work. Alright, sorry, Talon. We'll come back to you in a minute. Oh, how lucky is that? We're right here where Aaron's supposed to be. Alright, Melina, you can go watch the show. Talon, you just keep you just keep doing this. I don't want you to watch the show. Oh no, I don't want to stop the track. Let's go random. Yeah. I'm with you there. Okay, so there you go. It's a hidden skill. We'll see what he gets. And then Gwendolyn, you're out here in the snow. Are you making any money? Of course not, but you are getting cold. Oh, no, you're small-talked. All right, so Aaron, let's see how you're doing. All right. Well, somebody threw something at him. I don't know what he got, but we got something thrown. Yeah, there you go. You want to watch a synthesis? We need to go in on a synthesis. That's what we need to do. We haven't done it yet. I keep forgetting to go over there. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this song. So let's go back over to Aaron real quick. Aaron, how you doing? Oh, I wasn't even looking at this venue. I'm sorry, I was looking at the other one. That's why I didn't know it. No, this is the right one. Alright, you keep going, buddy. Make the money. Yeah, I was looking at the right place. Okay. Alright. Melina, you're watching the show. Talon, what are you doing? Enthused about magic. Tell you what, why don't you, why don't you just go ahead and play with magic? Let's get you going on something here. And then we got to get you into the um, alchemy career, which I know is what we should do, do with uh, Supernatural, but, you yeah, know, it's okay. We got the three careers going. We got a singer and an acrobat and a magician, so we can do whatever. And he's also going to be our DJ, so we got it all covered. All right. Okay, so he's getting flirted with. Fantastic. Aaron? What are you going to do? Why don't you sing? Let's see. Perform. I don't like that one. Uh, one more grade day. Let's go with a verse. Chorus. Yeah, you got to make a pose. Give kisses to the crowd. Do another verse. Do another chorus. We'll watch you do it real quick. Oh. 
And she's still out there performing for tips. That's good. And that's good. Melina's enjoying it. As long as you got the plus signs, you're good. It's when they start giving you the minuses, that's when you got to start changing it up. Just a little too excited there. Come on. There's his pose. Now he gets a whole bunch of different poses, so you just have to uh, keep clicking on it to see the different ones. And he gets better at them. There's one that I really like, but he didn't do it this time. No, not that one. <laughs> okay, you keep going. Let's see, we'll go ahead and end the song here. How long is your show? I have no idea. Okay, there we go. Let's go back and check over here with um, with our boy Christopher. Well, Christopher. Oh man, this is not looking good. Oh no, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. Well, I'm not going to stay here because it probably might turn out bad. I don't know. Poor girl. You know, she may not be making any money, but she is getting experience. And this guy, he's working on it. The magician, or the uh, magic skill is the hardest one for me. It just takes way too long. But I do like it. He's in here. We can actually catch the show. We can watch actually four of our sims from here, I believe. Well, can't really see Gwendolyn unless we get a little bit further in the parking lot. Now, thought we could get four in a shot. We can't. I can get three of them. Is he finishing? No, he's not finishing at all. All right, Gwendolyn, when you get done, you're going to come on inside and watch. All right. Ooh, everybody's getting kind of hungry. We ought to take them all out to eat. It's graduation night, but... Poor Melina needs to go home. She's going to have to go to bed or go to school tomorrow. But she's not really that tired, so if we stay up a little late, she won't be too bad. All right. Gwendolyn the Great earns a total of $10 in tips. Well, you know, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, we're... Where's the other place? Oh, the other restaurant's down here. The nicer one, I think it's... Is it that one? No. Uh, it's not there. It's down even further, I think. Yeah. Why don't you go here with... Let's see. You can go here with all these guys. Well, then Christopher doesn't get to go. That's not, that's not good. Okay, come on. Are you going to finish these shows? You guys are going way too long. Alright, so Talon... He's going to eat an apple. All right. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, Alina, you guys ought to just go on home. You really should. I hate to keep you out this late. And she's starving. All right. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do these things. So tell you what, let's go back to the house real quick, and I'll at least let uh, Gwendolyn Talon. Well, Talon, are you You're still practicing magic? No. Yeah, you are. Let Gwendolyn go ahead and take you. Oh no, she's already on her way. You go ahead and come. Right. Go here, Talon. When you get done, you're gonna go here too. And then, of course, these guys are still working. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Okay, we definitely oh, want to get rid of this guy. and change it out for that. You want level 10 of the singer career? And let's see, what do you want to do? What was that? Yee. Dance outside a fairy Yee. house party? Okay. Um. Oh, that works for me. Okay, your show, you, let's see how you did. Oh, you're still doing it? Well, finish up. Man, how long is this thing going to go? Let's see, what is this, Monday night? Oh, yeah, this thing should have been over a long time ago. So, tell you what, we're just going to fix that real quick. Let's go ahead and... How come I'm not getting the option to end the show? Finish the show. Okay. Go ahead and stop it. And you do the same thing, because I'm sure you were supposed to be done hours ago. Uh, let's see. What is this? Uh, Monday night? Yeah, you're supposed to be done at 9. Go ahead and finish this thing. Um, all right. Love Day is coming up. Fantastic. That was a really good concert. I have no idea how much money he made. I don't think he made a whole lot. All right. Let's go home, buddy. That was a very entertaining performance. He didn't make any money. We did all that and we didn't make any money whatsoever. 
Okay, that's a nasty glitch right there. That's a bug. This is why I don't like the uh, steady gigs. So let's see, who's got steady gigs? I think both of them do. No, nope, he doesn't have any steady ones. What about you? Do you have any steady gigs? Or it could be that because, no, he's got one, but we need to cancel that one. I think you do it through the telephone, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've done this. Just gotta wait till he gets home. Talon, <laughs> Talon's still practicing playing magic. You go right ahead and keep doing that. See, and I was thinking we were gonna make some money, but no, that's not gonna happen. All right, let's see. You're home, buddy. You should be able to use your phone. All right, well, something's wrong with you, so I don't get, I don't get it. Maybe you'll be able to do it later. Or it could be that you're in the wrong clothes. I don't know. You shouldn't be able to do anything. All right. Oh, maybe if I clicked on... I am clicking on you. I don't know why. Nothing happens. Can't click this. Can't do anything with it. Hmm. Really weird. Okay. Let's see if I'm having the same trouble with Christopher, because that would... That would really be awful if I'm having problems with them both. Maybe it's because I aged him up, I don't know. Yeah, no, see I can actually click on him. Okay, if I can find him. <laughs> You're losing, I'm losing you. Okay. Yeah, he looks like he's picked up a little bit. He's really, uh, he's gotten pretty muscular. He was a scrawny little guy for a while. But he's done pretty well. So can you... I can click on your phone. I just can't do errands for some reason. That's really strange. So I may have to just reset Aaron. All right, let me go ahead and make sure that Talon gets home. He's coming. He's going to go to bed. Melina should be in bed. Everybody's sleeping. So I'm going to cut out of here, and I'll be back in a minute when they all get up, and hopefully we'll get this nasty glitch taken care of with Aaron. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, well, maybe not. We got an, op an opportunity here for a free vacation, and that's going to take all four of them out. And I figure we might as well just go ahead. So I'm going to send them all out. And then Melina, I don't know if she knows anybody. I don't know how many friends she's got. She doesn't know that many teenagers. So what we'll do is we'll actually take her to school, and we'll try throwing a teen party or something and just have a little bit of fun. But at least this way we can concentrate on her and do the things that she wants to do. So... Uh, oh, she's got an unfinished room. What did I not do? Okay, let's see. Wait a minute. Oh, the floor. That's what I didn't do. All right, so yeah, I got to take care of that. So when they're actually all gone, I'll close out of here, and then I'll fix the floor, and I'll be back actually when Melina's up and everything's back to normal. Be back in just a second. Okay, Melina's up, and she's heading over here. We're going to go ahead and let her get something to eat because she's hungry, and of course you know what we're going to be eating which is what we're going to eat probably for the next couple of weeks. Um, it's just this old birthday cake. And uh, everybody's gone, so we're back to just one sim. We have nothing else to do but take care of her. Uh, the storm did start up, so it's pretty nasty outside. I don't know how long she's got till school. Let's see. Oh, yeah, she's got plenty of time. We're going to go out and collect this sulfur right here. And let's see if there's anything else we can collect in our yard. I don't think there's a whole lot. Uh, let's see, how about we check the mail as well, because she can do that, she's a teena teenager. Let's see, pay the bills. Today's Tuesday, yeah, we ought to go ahead and do that now. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we're going to go ahead and accept a gift from a friend and see what we get. So come on, Melina, kick it into high gear, let's go. And this toilet, of course, is disgusting. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of privacy. <laughs> Maybe not. No matter where we go. Okay, there we go. Now you got some privacy. Do what you got to do. And of course, you can see I've, all the snow is melted. It actually looks pretty nice. And I think the weather is decent. It's 54 degrees, so it's actually pretty good. Um, she doesn't know a whole lot of people. I'm trying to think of a way to actually get her to know people. Oh, it tastes like fridge. We got to change out this refrigerator. But like I said, I really want to actually move into a better, better house. So. And I'm wondering if, well, I don't think we can afford it yet, but if I could get, unfortunately I sent the parents away, if I could get them actually making some money, it would be good. Oh, wait, is that a, that's a seed. And what is that? I have no idea what that is. Let's go take a look at it, because I have no idea what that actually is. Oh, it's a mushroom. Okay, sorry. It's like, what in the world is that? All right, hopefully this is worth something. Probably not. Mm. Let's see what we got. Yeah, 15. 
Alright, well, it wasn't worth much. Did you do your homework? Oh, I don't think you have homework because you just aged up. Why don't you go ahead and get these cut and we'll make some money that way. And while you're doing all this, we need to start, I need to make sure that we've got that elixir place here in this town. I don't think we do. I just can't remember putting it in. But we can always put it in if we have to. All right, we paid the bills, good girl. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got some gifts today. All right, from Kiwi Mark, we are getting, okay, we got a fern. Thank you very much. Let's see if I can send something back. No, I gotta wait a couple more hours. Come from Ryan Mom 03 hope this is useful. Oh, it's a swinging light. Thank you very much. And from Tiny78, that is cool. I got 200 simoleons, awesome, and thank you. All right, I'm glad. Hopefully you'll get something. Oh, I can't send anything back. Okay, we got the rusted glass. Thank you very much. And then from, uh, is that an L? LB Lith LP. Happy New Year, my friend. Thanks for accepting my friend request. I love your LPs. Please keep making them. Um, thank you so much. I will definitely be making them. Oh, and thank you for the football. I love the football. I love making these LPs, and I will continue making them as long as people are going to watch them, and even if they don't. So I just enjoy making them for myself. All right, let's see. Melina, you're going to go ahead and go on to school. And that's going to give us very little to do, which is kind of sad. All right, we'll go with you for right now. Um, make sure you get a pretty decent head start on high school. All right. We need to throw the party. If we throw a party and we get busted for doing some bad things, then, of course, all the parents come home. And you know we're not going to have just a nice, simple, sweet teen party. Melina, you're going to be a bad girl today because you are going to throw a party. That's okay. you got to do it. Let's see. Let me ask. Let me find out real quick. She could go in here for groceries, too, and I need to go there later because there's something... I did it in my Seasons LP, and it was so much fun. Um, I don't know. We'll wait and see. All right. You're at school. Way to go. While you're at school, I'm going to look around the town real quick, and we're going to see what exactly we have here, because I forgot. Now, this is the house, which I think is empty. Yeah, it's empty. I want this house. I love this house. Um, and we're going to get it, but I think we have to have like 200 and something simoleons, so I don't really have the money yet. Um, although I could put my other house down here, but it's kind of small. I don't know. Let's see. Nope, I don't see the elixir stand in here at all. So that means I'm going to have to put it in somewhere, and there's not that many lots that are that are left in this town, so I may have to take something out. Hmm. Yeah, I could take something out. It wouldn't be too it wouldn't be too painful. But I thought I had it up here somewhere, but I guess I just didn't do it. Maybe I thought, oh, I'm not going to do this on this LP, so I didn't bother with it. Okay, Melina, you're out of school, or are you skipping? Oh no, you're out. You ought to sign up for an after school thing. So let's go ahead. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, you already have after school. Okay, you've already been in high school. What am I thinking? All right, well, tell you what. Do your homework. Get that out of the way, at least. Okay, then go home. I hope you did your homework. Let's see. Yeah, you just did your homework. Good girl. Wait a minute. Stop here. Who is this guy? Jamar. Go ahead and introduce yourself to him. Because I think he's a high school kid, too. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, he's not high school. He's an old guy. He's hanging out by the high school. Um, this is dangerous. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. He's a witch. Okay, so... Strange man hanging out in front of the high school. I can see Nightline covering that one. Alright, here we go. We're going to get home. We're going to throw this party. And... I didn't go over into the grocery store. I'm not going to do that since I did it in the other LP. I'll just let this one... We'll just be a late party. That's what we'll do. All right, you're going to throw your party, but you're not going to start it just yet. Okay, it's only 4 o'clock. All right, we're going to throw a teen party. Let's start it up at about... Let's go with 8 o'clock. And we'll just do it casual. There's no reason... Let's see, you know, two people. Only two people are going to come to this this pathetic teen party. Well, you know what? That's all right. We'll do that. And unfortunately, you don't really know anybody else. We could go upstairs and you could chat with somebody. Let's see. Let's go ahead and chat with somebody. See if you can do that. 
get up there a little faster, please. Maybe you'll meet somebody new. I don't know. Let's see. I think we asked him. We didn't ask any of these guys. Oh, of course it's going to rain. We asked this guy. So maybe one of these guys will be your boyfriend. Yeah, he is definitely not a high schooler. What was I thinking? I would lost my mind. All right, so your party's about to start. So we go ahead and let's do this. Oh, stop it. All right, let's go ahead and order some food. Yeah, because you're going to be hungry once the party starts. Did I put a burger on? Yes, I did. Or at least it came with one. I couldn't remember. All right, we need to actually cancel the newspaper. And she could do that. But we're going to go ahead and get pizza. And then you can actually do the canceling of the newspaper. Let's do that now. That way we don't have to worry about that. Then you can come over here and you can recycle that. Recycle that. Let's see. Let's cancel the newspaper. Good for you. All right, go ahead and get this taken care of. You could take the car somewhere, couldn't you? I don't know. You think you have to actually have it in your inventory already. All right, pizza guy should be coming soon, and your first guest should be getting here in about 20 minutes. So that should be good. And then you guys have plenty of stuff to do in this house, so hopefully the guys will stick around and it won't be that we run them off real quick. Then again, you never know. Because it tends to happen. All right, where are you going? Oh, you're going to go throw this away. Sounds like a good plan. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the party, the part here before the party. And then when we come back, we'll have this really lame teen party. And uh, we'll see if we can get some trouble going on. And then, of course, maybe get the adults to come back. All right, yeah, there goes my timer. All right, I'll see you guys in the next part. Thank you so much for watching.